Hey Sugar Simmies, so I am back with Tori Marie and they are having a little dinner party today. You see Milo coming down the stairs. Um, he got a little stripe, he got a little look similar to his dad, just a little bit. So Marie and her mama don't have shoes on. Oh, she doesn't either. I got rid of some shoes out of my, oh goodness, out of my game and obviously it's ones that they wear but sorry um i may get them back i don't know i probably won't i'm trying to figure out who is that oh his mom i'm trying to figure out which ones i want to keep in my game and which ones i don't the ones that are in here are musts and then obviously there are some that i had to let go so the family has gathered for let me just lock the doors because oops what, how you do it, everyone? Goodness. Who's still coming in? Oh, his sister. Come on, girl. I think she might be the last person. Oh, her dad is supposed to be coming. If y'all don't hurry up. Oh, his dad not even here yet. I love hearing my Sims talk, but when I'm recording, it's like it's in my ears, kind of loud. So I have to turn it down. But I'm going to help them out and clear these empty plates. So today we're gathering for a special event, and I just wanted them to eat some food. So his meals are very Asian, besides this lemon cheesecake. I don't think that's... And then I made chocolate mousse as well. But I wanted them to eat this food. I did get a last exceptions, and I have better exceptions in my game, so it's scanning. I don't know what's going on. Every time I have them eating like a meal like this, and I have them call to meal... It seems like they never can actually grab the meals without a exception popping up. So I will let you guys in on what's going on with the family. Like she kind of looked like her mama, but she definitely is her daddy daughter. But um, now she and her husband have divorced. Not just split up, they divorced. She moved to the city and got... <laughs> Look at each other. And got herself an apartment. And it broke both of their hearts. I won't even lie. They both were pretty upset, sad, and everything about it. But crazy enough. Because I've been playing with the whole family. Like I've been in... Uh, what's her name? Catherine's house household. I've been in Christy and Aaron's household. They are now married. And And they also have their twins. But when I came back to this save, well, to this household, Toria Marie's, I got a call from Princeton, who is Tori's dad, asking if he should go on a date with another person. It's like they literally just got a divorce. Obviously, they've been having some issues, but already you're trying to date somebody? Of course, he said no. <laughs> He's probably just going to do what he wants to do, but it's like, come on now. You literally just got a divorce, and you act like it was so heartbreaking and sad and made you feel some type of way. Oh, look at teacher. She's such a sweet girl. I just had her playing a video game on her new laptop that she got for Winterfest. Oh, you're not supposed to be on her laptop. But, um... And she says she likes video games, so I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm excited for Deidre to grow up, I'm not going to lie. I love her a lot. And I just know I'm going to have fun with her um, as a teen and as an adult. But that's probably going to be a while from now. I do plan on making her preteen soon if I keep that mod in my game. Um, technically, her birthday is coming up in a little over a week. Y'all, I started recording and then my radiator decides it wants to kick on. I don't control the heat in my apartment, so it just comes on when it hits a certain temperature in here. So I'm not happy about it. But anyway, I think we're just going to go ahead and get to what I want to get to. This video probably won't be that long, I'm not going to lie. Or it'll be a combination of things because... Oh, did I show you guys? I don't even think I posted these anywhere. Look at her and her baby. And then this one over here is just her and her man. They took family photos. I don't have all of them up. They look so cute. They look so cute. He's hungry? Hold on. What are you about to do? 
Oh, you just put them in there? That's actually fine. And then you can give him this ramen, which I don't know if babies eat ramen, but he's eating ramen today. He might not even be hungry. <gasps> So I'm going to let him eat this ramen and then I need Tori and Marie to get up because if you don't know what's going to happen, you're going to know in a second. Just ignore the fact that Marie doesn't have shoes on, please. Oh, don't bike, don't bike here. Please don't bike here. It's right here, buddy. What do you mean? You can't get up? Okay. So what I want him to do is propose i don't know if they're gonna look and clap or anything but i want everybody to be here everybody important besides her stepmom and brother i'm sorry i always forget to invite them oh my gosh deidre really <sighs> deidre's in the way it's gonna make me mad it's gonna make me mad so I'm going to have to do some bootleg pictures. Because the door is in the way, Deidre. Why would you do that to me? Okay, let's see if I can come this way. Oh, look at her. She's so excited. She's so shocked. Are you shocked in a good way or in a bad way? Oh, her face does not look good shocked. Oops. Oh, and then the door, girl, what are you doing? Are, are you even in here anymore? She's not even in here anymore. She's not even in there anymore, but the door is still open. Look at his waves, period. This door being open is really ruining the mood because I wanted to get some good pictures, but it's just now closing. Maybe I'll just get a really close up, really close photo of her finger. Even though this isn't gonna be the ring that she has on her hand. But, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you like God? You know that <laughs> that baby had a little extra weight to you, Marie, with your big old head. She has such a big head. <laughs> it's so cute, though. So they are now engaged, and I cannot wait to land a wedding. So, as you may or may not have noticed, I do have wedding stories in my game. I was against buying it, but I wanted Tortosa real bad. So, I bought it. I tried to have Christy and Aaron have a good wedding, and it was a mess. So, I know there are some mods out there to help with that. But it's just unfortunate. Like, I paid this money for this a pack that I can't even use unless I have mods. What? Well, I might as well have just found a mod where you can have weddings. It's true. I, I might as well pay for that one. Because it, it probably will work better than the freaking pack. Anyway, I won't complain. That baby is eating some noodles with a spoon. Okay. I thought you were just going to use... Look at Deidre. Okay, I'm obsessed with this little girl. I think she's so adorable. She's coming into her... She Is she Wednesday? <laughs> no, but she's coming into her own little personality. I think she's so pretty, though. Her skin tone, obviously the overlay, her eyes... Her nose is freaking cute. She's so cute. So, oh, and then they also got a cat. They got a little kitten. His name is Noodle. Um, well, this might not be the best uh, way to show you Noodle because he's kind of in a weird spot. Noodle, over here, Noodle. 
he's a little he's a kitten so yeah these are just be cleaning she don't like no mess oh i thought she was cleaning sorry <laughs> just kidding she's very energized a friend's two cents feeling great cozy fire she's uh-oh Stress with strangers from clean here marie come give this girl a hug come give her a hug whoa, 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 whoa. I want DJ uh, to talk to, aw, he's like, I love you. Yeah, I, I, I was supposed to change their party outfits. Um, I forgot, y'all. So they still wearing these Hawaii island shirts, you know, so don't judge them. A lot of this food is not being eaten, which sucks, but it's okay. At least they have food. They didn't starve. I did give my girl a new hairstyle because she too bad to be with them other braids. The other braids are not bad, obviously, but I just, I just love me some Cali. Love her. Okay. Um, let's see. I think Deidre is actually closer to Cali than her own auntie. Oh, she's not that close to Chrissy. But I did, while I was playing with Chrissy and Aaron, I did have Deidre come over. And she got introduced to the boys. Which, she doesn't have any relationship with them. But, I guess she needed to actually talk to them. But I'll have um, Deidre go to Chrissy's house here and there to visit everybody. And just so she can be close to her family. And not, you know, her mom's far away. <laughs> Very far away. And... I'm sure she's getting to that point where she's like, I want to see my mom. It's been so long. I need to see my mom again. But the type of facility that Ellie is in, it's kind of like she's done some wrong things. So it's not just a mental health facility. It's also like she's imprisoned. So hopefully we can figure out a way to just visit her very soon. That's what I want for her. So we'll see. I want to move them out of this house. I guess this isn't really a episode. It's kind of just an update a little bit about the family because I feel like this home is so depressing. <laughs> it's so dark and of course Marie loves her black and white. So Tori was like, okay, I'm gonna why are you cooking more food? Rainbow cupcake. That's what money gets you. Just making stuff that don't need to be made. But Tori tried to let her just be the influence of everything. But it's... They need more color. They need more vibrancy. Can y'all get off this baby computer? Please. But I'm thinking I'm going to move them somewhere else out of Willow Creek, which is kind of wild. I was thinking about moving them to Oasis Springs, but that's not where I want to... I don't think... Yeah, I was talking about that in the last video. I don't want them to move there. But I do consider Brindleton Bay. I do. But I don't have anything planned besides I wanted them to get married. Oh, the baby, the baby. I'm so sorry, sugar baby. Um, Let him out, please, somebody. Let him out. He's sad. I, why can't you let the boy out? Okay, just pick him up, please. T.T. Kelly, you right there. You could have picked him up. Your grandparents from both sides right there. This boy just like, nobody's going to get me. I'm so sorry. He just walked through Alexandria. Yeah, like I said, Deidre just be cleaning. She don't want no mess. Um, Can anybody eat this? It doesn't look like it. Let's see. Let's see if, if Deidre can get some sushi. Grandpa. Grandpa. Mm -mm. Go talk to your... Oh, not you. Ham. Can you talk to his granddad? Oh my gosh. I can't click on him. Um, He can only show off a toy. That's irritating. So look, she got some sushi. It's probably not a good... Do a, whoa. A good idea for Marie to get sushi because she is fragante. <laughs> okay. Y'all know where I got that from? If you don't know... Where have you been? I'm going to have 
Marie and Tori put the food away because nobody's eating it. Everybody's full. Dad's helping clean up. They might as well start cleaning up as well. I don't know if they're going to be able to do this because I sent both of them. Yeah, I knew it. I know. I'm sorry, Tori. Here, come and talk to Christy. Just ask to bring... Ask to be ring bearer. Um, congrat congratulate them on their marriage because again they recently got married. I'm just gonna put the food away myself. He got his toy. You eating again? No, no, you're not cooking. I don't care if you just wasted that money. No, you don't need to cook anything else. Clean it up. I don't care about you getting mad. The house is a mess. Well, no, it's not. I lied. That was an, isn't a mess, but you guys have enough food, and Tori now has to fix the stove because y'all want to keep cooking. It's really not. It's really not that serious. Y'all not that hungry. She's not even hungry at all, is she? Mm, a little bit. Uncle, nobody talking to the baby. Nobody's talking to the baby, and I just feel like I hate that they can't goo goo ga ga to people. Like, come on now. He's like almost three years old and he can't talk to adults that's so unrealistic babies be talking in, in infancy to adults we don't understand them but they be saying stuff i am a little bit sad because Catherine and princeton broke up but we if you watch the episode you could tell that something was going on and i was not about to force them to stay together she just wants to live and be free why she has this outfit on i don't know i don't know why she decided to choose this because i i did give her one and i had a whole little story behind it and everything well not really she has bags under her eyes i wanted to say she was crying <laughs> Because she was. When I went to her place. Oh she don't have shoes on either. I guess I got rid of a lot of women's shoes. I think it was Dallas girl shoes. That I got rid of. Uh uh Tori. Don't even do that. Come scavenge for your parts. Because he always fixing something. And get rid of this. So I'm, I have to decide if I want to just update their house. Like do a little bit of renovation. Get a new flooring. Get some lighter colors in here. Or if I want to move them to a whole new city or world. The reason I want to move them is because these bedrooms up here are kind of small. Not saying that they can't have things in here. But I feel like I want more for Deidre. And of course I'm going to want more for him. And we just don't have the space for it. So <sighs> maybe I can just create them a playroom. But it's another baby coming. And... Tori and Marie have been using this treadmill. Tori is, has hypertension. Wait, what is he at? <laughs> High blood pressure. So he's been taking medication. And he's also been trying to work out. So if you, you might not be able to notice with the outfit he has on. But he's lost weight. You know, he's being a little healthier. And Marie... She has a sleeping issue, so just working out helps both of them. I hate, I don't know if it's something I got in my game or what, because it's, this is the second hairstyle where you see these lines when you're zoomed out a bit, and I don't like that. Mm -mm. She looks so pretty. I wonder if it's hard for her to be around her husband. She looked real happy, though. She don't look like she's worried about it at all, like even a little bit. It's 6.33. Oh, my gosh, Deidre. You, <laughs> she's over here working out. She said, "Yeah, I gotta do something to keep myself calm, not thinking about my mom." You can play with the kitten. Oh, are you gonna? Oh, I thought she was about to talk to Callie. I like when her and Callie talk. I don't know. I feel like Callie's still young, even though she looks good. I feel like Callie's gained weight, but maybe I just don't recognize her body that I don't play with her often at all so I think she looks good oh, oh so cute. I love them 
I forgot Callie had braces too. <laughs> I, I think I took Tori's braces out. Right? Oh. Yeah, I did. He said, uh huh, you did. Thank you, Tori. Thanks for letting me know. Y'all, I don't have nothing going on in this video. I just wanted to show you guys that they're getting, they, what? <sighs> that they're getting married. I wanted to update you on his parents. I wanted to let you know they got a dog. Um, Marie is pregnant. She's going to be in her second trimester any time now. I was about to say any day now, but it's literally tomorrow. Um, what else? And I wanted to let you guys know that I want to redo this. Oh, Chrissy. What? <sighs> yeah. Why? It's cold. And you're deciding to jump in trash. Okay. But yeah, I just wanted to... Oh, I wanted to let you know that Chrissy and Aaron had their babies. And they also got married. That is what's going on. So next time you see... <gasps> Oh, I thought she got engaged. I heard that you got engaged. Congratulations. I'm so excited for you and Tori. So Layla has been texting them. The girl has said she moved like three times. I hate when I do this because I know watching it is irritating. But she has called them saying that she's moving multiple times. So I guess they need to go and visit Layla because she's like, okay, guys, I moved. Um, Are you going to come and see me or what? So, yeah. She, she wants some attention. But guys, I'm just going to play with them a little bit more. Get them moved in wherever I decide to move them. And Anaya. Marie, thank you for suggesting I hang out with Ray Flimber. We had a spectacular time. Okay. But yes, guys. Thanks so much for tuning into this little episode. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.